Welcome into the official. We are concluding our tight ends uh, star index show, basically. And what we're going to do tonight is look at tight ends through the lens of the star index for the 2025 class of freshmen. So these are guys who are still about a year away from coming onto campus, but a lot of them have already committed. The 2025 class is already filling out for the most part. I mean, some 2026 guys have committed already. So it's not too early to look at 2025. Go back and look at our other shows. If you want to know more about what the star index is and look at the tight end or quarterback, running back, wide receiver shows, uh, all been done over the last four weeks. Now, like and subscribe to this video if you enjoy what we're doing. But we are going to look right here at the 2025 freshman class. Number one, we have a guy real high up there, 96.4 on the star index. That is very high, um, high level NFL potential with that number. Uh, Trent Euler, Matt, what do you think of this guy? I don't think he's committed anywhere. Looks a little on the lighter side now, but he has plenty of time to put on even 10 pounds before college. And then obviously we see some of these guys put on 2030 in college. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's already listed in the 220s, so I, I'm not concerned about the size at all. Uh, I mean, when it comes to him, I mean, the the speed is really what stands out. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. He has the fastest 400-meter time of all the tight ends in uh, our database currently, and it's by a good amount, a 48-second 400-meter, which, again, for somebody that his size is uh, pretty insane. Uh, a good comparison here, Ladarius Green, uh, Chargers tight end. I don't know. If, yeah, Chargers tight end, uh, fifty point one seven, uh, and he's a very fast tight end himself. So, uh, and that's the second highest. So very fast. Uh, he has a great hundred meter, two great two hundred meter. Uh, so he, he really puts it all together. And he's a three sport athlete. So I think he's very good at baseball as well. Okay. Uh, so really a we lot of that. potential for him. Yeah. And I mean, I'm looking here, the bench is 85th percentile. So he's strong, you know, strong upper body, very, very fast. We like this. I think this is very nice right now. looks like he is maybe trending towards Missouri. He's from the state of Wisconsin. A uh, long way to go with this guy. Doesn't seem to be any clear uh, leans really. Um, I think he has a visit to Missouri and that's really it. So we'll be keeping tabs on Trent Euler. I think he's going to be a nice find in this class. Then we have Lincoln Cure, five-star guy. No surprise here, 87.2. I like him quite a bit. He is uh, going to Kansas State at the moment, still committed there, uh, which is an up-and-coming program in my opinion. So you like that. And then Matt, Teandre Waverly, what do we like about him? Uh, yeah, now he's another uh, extremely fast guy. We, he has the third fastest 100-meter uh, of any tight end in our uh, database right there, right next to Vernon Davis, who has a 10-7 flat uh, from high school, I believe. Uh, Waverly runs a 10-7-3. That's the best official we could find, but there's also, you know, some other numbers out there of him running like, you know, 10-4s, but they're not, they, the numbers looked a little bit off in that entire event. So we, we went with the 10-3s because it was, or 10-7 because it was more uh, uh, official. Yeah, that's really fast for guys. Two hundred and twenty-five yeah, pounds already. And he's also, I, he's very, he was more of a blocker. He's te he plays for you know not a very big team out in Washington, I believe. Yeah. Uh, more of a run blocker. Really started opening up as a pass catcher last season. Uh, so definitely has a way to go. But uh, you know, huge NFL or not NFL, huge athletic upside. And watch out here. He's listed on 24-7 as an athlete. So don't forget to mind those athletes. That's always a, an area of kind of some, un, um, you know, some hidden gems. And then James Flanagan going to Notre Dame. They have a decent history of producing some tight ends. Uh, can you fill us in on James Flanagan before we get to some of these landmines? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm too aware of his testing, but I, I've watched the tape. He's a you know, very well-rounded tight end, uh, you know, exactly what Notre Dame typically goes for. And then you get the combo of that, uh, him being a fantastic athlete as well. Uh, you know, that's always a great combo. Yeah, he's a three-point, uh, three-sport guy. He's 245 pounds, which we like. He's 6'5", 6'6", almost. Um, 472 40, that's not the best. Uh, verticals 30, that's not great, but huge numbers from the shot put and discus, so very, very strong. Um, you know, definitely has a future here. May not be the most athletic specimen from a size and or speed and agility, but certainly a guy who we could look at um, as, a as a producer. Then you have the number one tight end is Elias Williams going to Georgia. 
He comes in at 82.3, which is good, but not great. Um, I wouldn't say he's, you know, out of the running, but, you know, maybe he's not necessarily the number one. Lincoln Cure has been my number one anyway. Um, but Elias Williams, obviously going to that TE factory at Georgia. We like that. And then down at the bottom, just wanted to put out two guys just to kind of illustrate how sometimes the recruiting rankings are a little bit, uh, you know, don't obviously. This is our metric, the star index. Nate Roberts is a four star, and JD LaFleur, a four star, uh, going to LSU. And Nate Roberts, um, I want to say maybe Ohio State, but going to big programs, four star guys, they aren't. Uh, coming in as a great star index. Now, the caveat there is that the data is not complete, but we do have 40 times and we do have um, some weight, uh, some strength numbers um, as well as their size. And it did not really come out to a great number. Now, if we get more data, they may rise in the rankings, but just be on the watch out for some of these four star guys uh, and even five star guys like Elias Williams, who aren't necessarily you know, locked and loaded based on the star index, which is pointing towards NFL potential. Matt, anybody else you'd like to bring up here? Uh, uh, the on only one we skipped was uh, Brody Ludden, uh, Ohio State commit. And uh noble thing we got on him is he, I think the only tight end in class we have uh, uh, over 21 miles per hour. Uh, okay. So wow. Nice to see. 21.1 miles per hour. He can definitely scoot in the open field. So Absolutely. One thing about Elias Williams, I did just take a look at our player card here. Really bad shot put discus numbers, which I would say that's probably not great for a tight end. Um, you know, those are some strength numbers, some functional strength numbers, and he's like under the 10 percentile in both of them. So to be fair, I don't think he was very active in track and field. Okay. He does have a bench in his uh here, and that's 60th percentile, so that's solid. Okay. Gotcha. So, yeah, I mean, and it's hard to, yeah, like you said, I mean, it's hard to know they, they p- competed in these events, but maybe, you know, obviously their passion was football. They put most of their time and effort into football, but um, just worth noting, um, we can only do the best we can with the data that we have, but uh, that is the star index for 2025. Stick with the official. We are going to probably get to, we've been teasing it for a while. I think we're going to actually get to some high school recap updates how these guys in 2025 are doing and maybe even sprinkle in some 2026 2027 guys i know david has been tweeting about some of those guys from time to time as he watches games i'm sure matt you're looking at those guys too as you come across uh on these stacked high school teams so stick with the official like and subscribe and we'll get out of here talk to you guys later